All right, cool bananas. Um, 16th hole, 320. Around the right, there's basically, well, you wait for the drone stuff to sort of do its thing. Um, but you've got the gum tree straight down the guts, basically right there is about where I want to go. Again, nothing fancy. Just, but again, it's just got to be a decent, decent swing. Instead of hitting it like a goose, actually give it a bit of a hit. Eh, it's a bit tully, but it's fine. Yeah, it's not ideal. Like those, I don't know what it is, I've flushed everything and now suddenly I'm hitting things out in the toe and toe jamming it. It feels all wrong right now, but that's golf. Cool, so yeah, no danger. There's actually probably even short of the water there. Right, what do we got here? Sorry. Um, iPad's on, good. So, 80 meters, 100 meters, something like that. 98, 98. So yeah, it'll be just be that 54 degrees. It should be a good distance. I've hit that a few times today and it's been decent, so. Just gotta hit a good one. Another goodie. Just a few spits of rain starting up. It wasn't the best struck. Uh, it's saying 102 meters total distance. I don't think it's going to have a hell of a lot of spin on it. It certainly wasn't the greatest of strikes. Uh, yeah, bloody 5-6 spin. It was a little high on the face, a little chubby, and that's sort of why it must have got there. Mmm. That's looking back down the fairway we've just come from. Definitely it was a good shot, but this is not an easy putt. It sort of looks like it's going to break right to left. Oh. Next hole. It's the hole that I always dread because it's an easy hole, but it entices you to give it a, a red hot go. Bloody lovely. It's um, it's cheap off the tee, just a little bit of a draw and then get it down there, but then that doesn't equal, you can go for the green in two. It's, uh, yeah, you gotta hit a good one. Anyway, nice birdie, good bounce back after that horrible previous hole. Okay, I think I said this every time I get to this hole. It's the greatest because it allows you to do some silly things. If you, do, if you don't hit a good, good one, you're in the creek or in the creek. So it's, yeah. So we're basically looking at, what have we got, 470 odd? Uh, par 5, 470 odd, around to the left, around to the right. Um, I'm going to take it up over these trees here. On the corner. So, basically those trees sort of there. Something along those lines. And let's hit it, just hit a good one. Just hit a good one. Shot I've hit since I've been a trainee. So that one there started well. Hopefully you can see where it started. Started left. It faded back a little bit. I reckon I'm going to be blocked out by the trees. But that's um that's the type of shot I was trying to hit. If it turned over to the left a little as much as it moved to the right, it'd be perfect. But I reckon I'm going to probably have to bump one down there short of the green, or even just sort of chip out sideways because. Yeah, it's a bit funky. It's a bit funky down there. If you hit it to turn over a little bit, you can be sort of left rough and everything like that. It's not a drama, but yeah, as it down the right, it's not ideal. Uh, but what it does is sort of gives me another shot that I could maybe bunt something in close, close to the green, if not on. Yeah, nearly as good as what I wanted. 
So this is what I mean, like there's mine there, I really don't have much. If I was to go further over to the left, it's a little better because I could potentially go over it. But right here, it's just sort of a bunt up to the corner and yeah, it's not, not the best, but again, it's okay. There's two things, like I said, I can't get over the trees this far out. I definitely can't hit it that far. But I'm just gonna hit a bumpy little nine, turn it into a stinger nine iron. And uh, just sort of get one down there. It's not, again, it's not pretty, but that's, if I was to hit, like I said, over here, maybe a chance, but almost not really. So maybe the smart play is lay up back there, lay up down there, but then if your layup's crap, well then you're gonna be blocked out by these trees anyway. So it's where do you want to take that risk? Where do you want to take it? Right, 86, um, 86 meters, back into a bit of breeze. 54 um, Yeah, so the same shot is back on five four uh, Three four five. Yep The same shot is on five Again, the piss poor strike, oh, I mean sorry, the strike was just a little bit chubby so there wouldn't have been a huge amount of spin so that it stopped pretty quick. Again, relatively close. Look, for me, I'm giving that a 12 out of 10. 12 out of 10 for a wedge shot for me. Beautiful. So, yeah, like I said, pretty good. A couple of meters short. Absolutely takeable. It's a good little par five because again, the distance says you should be able to get there in two. But it all depends on the tee shot. Like if you don't hit a good one, you're in strife. This part looks like it's dead straight. <laughs> Which is not ideal. I've hit it okay, it's like that, that patch around the back there that was just very average, but I feel like it's been pretty good for, for not really playing. Um, maybe it was getting tired, I don't know, but I got a wedge into the next, so we'll finish up. We've made it to 18. Rightio, 18th hole, I'm not sure, too sure of the distance. Right, 18th hole, par 3, I've got no idea about how far it is. 55 to the clubhouse, 24, 24 to the, 24 to the flag, so it's probably a wedge actually, or it seems up the back, I actually don't want to go longer than that, so I'm going to hit a hard gap wedge, how about that? A oh, hard gap wedge. It's too far to the right, but I reckon the distance is okay if it's not in the bunker or something. Damn it. Again, that's the alignment, I don't know, there's, there's a lot going on, I need, to, I need to hit more balls, get back into it a little bit, because I feel like the strike was okay, but uh, yeah, just nowhere, nowhere on the planet. Yeah, good thanks, um, not great. It was probably, oh, it was definitely a wedge. definitely a little long. I'll just run you up here. 
Look, it's been good to be out at, at Caboolture. Um, it's been a while. That one came out a little bit stronger than I wanted it to, so it's about six foot, seven foot past. But it's been good. It's been good to get out, have a bit of a hit. Like I said, even though I might not be playing as well as I could be, it's probably not actually too bad. Um, definitely won't walk about somewhere in the middle of that round. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. Poo. Right, easy bogey. I didn't know if I was going to hold that, but anyway, easy bogey. It's, um, like I said, it's good to be sort of back having a bit of a hit. Uh, it's a pity um, we couldn't get the boys out, but we'll get them out another time. So hopefully this has worked okay. Hopefully it sounds good, but I'll know before you guys. I'll put it up, and um, yeah, we'll go from there. That was a terrible bogey, just a bad club. See, I thought downwind wedge maybe a little long, but there's actually a little bit of room back there, so it would have been just a normal pitching wedge instead of a hard gap wedge. Get a caboolture, guys. Look at that thing over there. Looks very, very good. Anyway. Um, we'll see you next time guys, and um, yeah, we're sort of back, camera's ready, lav mic's not, like I said, solo vlog's not uh, the best so far, uh, but we'll make it work. Anyway, stay tuned, cheers guys, see you next time. Beautiful, and don't forget, smash that like button. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're that's what you say, don't you? Oh, that's what they say to say. Hey? I don't know, if you don't like it, don't like it, hit, hit this like, who cares? Yep. I don't care. But anyhow, see you then. Beautiful. See you.